My name is Tara Daniels and I am a second semester senior. Well, um, I took an a animation and video uh, class in the art department, which is art is my minor, and we had to do something, whatever we wanted to do, we could basically do it. And I decided I wanted to do a video project because I do have, you know, experience with post production editing and after effects. I thought that'd be a great way to showcase it. And um, I had started to do one big project and it was going to be just great. And it didn't turn out like I wanted to, so I had to think of something else I can do. And of course, I was stressing out about finals week, as most students do. And I thought about kind of doing like a like a propaganda infomercial type video, just because I think it's interesting how video, just simple footage, can be manipulated to say something totally different than it was intentionally intentionally shot for. So that's what I did. My video on was, is finals week helpful or not? This is the University of Missouri-Columbia. As Missouri's largest university and public research institution, it enrolls over 28,000 students who come from every county in Missouri, from every state in America, and from more than 100 foreign countries. At this fine university, like at every college and university in America, the last week of school is finals week. This week consists of tests, projects, and our paper in each student's class to test their performance and understanding of what they learn throughout the semester. Helpful, right? Wrong. We have been told by our teachers, our parents, and essentially America, that finals week is a necessary evil. How are we supposed to access our progress in class? How are we supposed to succeed in life? Without Finals Week, 
where we be. I know where we would be. We would probably be in happier places. If looked at, finals week puts unnecessary stress on the students. They become neurotic. They stay up all night and all day studying, doing projects, and writing papers. Each teacher expects the student to spend at least five hours a day working on that single class. If you're taking five classes, that's 25 hours, more than the hours in the day. Necessary? I think not. This leads to the question, is final weeks helpful or hell full? Let us investigate. Let us look at Stankowski Field. On a beautiful day like this, you expect to see college students playing frisbee and soccer and football and any other sport they would like to play. Yet, it is vacant. The volleyball court, using it an escape from the everyday life has just become a simple sandbox. The computer lab, once teeming with people trying to access information over the internet, is a desert. The only people in there are unfortunately people studying. Okay, that one girl is texting, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with school. Maybe. These three young ladies are more than likely study buddies. And you know what study buddies are, don't you? They're prison roommates. Essentially. Look at these two young ladies. They have studied so much and taken so many finals, they have literally collapsed. It is a shame what schools are doing to America's children. The library, once a source of information and free speech, has become a prison. I myself have been barred from going inside, saying that I need administrational release to tape in there. Hmm, I think mainly I was blocked because I was going to expose the truth. Sad, isn't it? To see the effects of finals week, I decided to interview actual students going through an actual finals week. The results are shocking. Can you please state your name? Lindsay Shelton. Christopher Ross Tate. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Remain anonymous. Yes. And what is your major? Psychology. Biological sciences. Biology pre-med. No, which, what year are you? I am a sophomore. Freshman. I'm a junior. And how many finals do you have, including papers and projects and stuff? I had six finals. Four. What days were they on? Um, I had one last week, I have five this week, and I have a final paper due. Okay. So technically seven. Okay. Uh, I already turned in my paper. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Okay. I don't have any papers. Woohoo! But I had physics today. I also had classical humanities, which is a great class. Take it. Um, and then I have animal phys on Friday. Okay. Now, do you feel that finals week is a necessary thing to go through? I don't think it's a necessary. I feel that it can become hectic at times. Yes. Why? It's a lot better than school. <laughs> can you explain, please? Oh, well, I don't have to go to class. Is that the main reason? Instead, I just have to take a test. Okay. Propaganda at work. Unfortunately, we weren't able to save this young man from the travesties that the world has taught him. 
that finals week can be useful. That at least you don't have to go to class. That you're almost to the end. But does it really ever end? Um, do you think finals week is necessary? No, I do not. I feel like um, if you've been doing like your homework and taking the test, like that should be enough. Why stress you out a lot more at the end when you're trying to like leave and get out of here? Yes, Lindsay, it isn't fair. You have worked hard all semester, trying to get the best grades you can get, trying to learn and study, and then at the end, they just can't give you a break. Instead of rewarding you for your hard work, they give you a giant test, project, or paper to prove yourself once again. Haven't you done enough already? With all the evidence against finals week, will it ever end? Only time will tell. Perhaps this generation will lead a revolution, showing that finals week shouldn't be around. Or maybe they would be bitter and lead their children into the same fate. Still, you must ask yourself, is final week helpful or helpful? You decide.
Thank you.